the Nike man, DJ Tess, he produced that, and we made the biggest impact. That's when you just saw the cookout to HP. That's when you saw the movie night. That's when you saw all the kids used to go up and down. Man, uh, South y'all Street. deserve some checks cut, yo. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, like, damn, y'all should have got a check cut listen. from Nike at least. Cause yeah, <laughs> definitely. Cause man, people put, wearing Nike listen, sweatshirts. Listen, I'm the Nike man. That was my, that listen. That was us. Like, you know, I got too many like, kids, so, you know, I had to be on. Back then, you wasn't cool if you wasn't in a group. We created... Team Nike, like after I met up with uh, like I'm like when I moved there, yeah, we created the whole Wu Tang thing, and I was like, ex- like um, inspired off of like the um, ooh, I'm sorry, but, uh, like the older groups like um, BFA, Pocket Dollies, and uh, it was just you, yo, every everybody was in the group, even when um, only thing that was cool back then if you was the top rapper, and the top rapper was like Meek in my generation, and. We was the young boys that threw the Nazi Drew party and had an opportunity like to work with me. You feel what I'm saying? So and this was right before, you know, uh this is when Rose Hate Red came out, you feel what I'm saying? Like this yo, he was popping. Yeah, that was you feel yeah. what I'm saying, like and like yo, this was Nazi. We had the city popping. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But behind the scenes, other hey. than me, it was just the dance groups. And listen, and this is a tell the story, right? My OG Jimmy the Saint. You know the Philly hip hop words he do? Yeah. For the past, for that, it's going to shock y'all. The past three years has been all, the past, I'm at, like, I might be wrong with the statistic, but I'm wrong, I'm like, but I'm right with the fact I'm about to say. The past four years, it's been rappers, right? Yeah. Philly of our voice has been, like, Ab was the last big one. Ab, yeah, it was a raw, like, the show was based around Ab. But for that, it was us. It was dance groups. It was. The hottest DJs. Who's the hottest DJ? It was the yeah. party scene that I'm talking about, like. Uzi, if you realize, Uzi just went viral off of one of the, like, uh, on Ball Alert, they put up, like, an old video of Uzi, like, dancing, wu tanging. he had to split, this is one of the songs that, uh, my bro, we was there when it's produced, but it's one of our tracks, and he on, ball, you know, now, like, Uzi, you seeing a whole nother side of Uzi, like, the Philly, like, every dude, it was a lot, mostly every dude wanted to be a dancer back then. Feel what I'm saying? Now they rappers. You now they rappers. Like Uzi, uh, that's how me and Uzi we so close. Every time I see Uzi, like I interviewed him at Made in America, and uh, when he came to Onyx, like it's just every time I see him since we came from the era, it's just always, oh bro, you still on your shit? Oh bro, you still on your shit? We was trying to learn. We was b boy. We was break dancers, Wu Tang back then. So damn, that's interesting. Yeah, we came, we that's came that's, up that's in interesting. Era. You know what? So since what you were saying with. Jimmy the Saint and his movement as far as um, the Philly Hip Hop Awards making rappers the main feature or whatever, you know. So do you think so, far as for rappers like Uzi, like like you say, um, well for those who we talking about little Uzi vote, I gotta vert, I gotta you know, let mm-hmm. people know. But you think since he seen that the dancers is not getting that spotlight at like they should, that he's he had to become a rapper to say, well, this is how I'm going to get my break to just solely Uzi, focus on being a rapper. Uzi, right? No, yeah. Uzi is an entertainer. Uzi still do him. He's the same yeah. just like me. He's a rock star. He's just transformed. Like, he never chose. That's why I respect Uzi. He never chose. He never chose. Just like I didn't never choose when I was going to be with the top goon. I didn't start wearing baggy pants and... Didn't, like didn't stop crazy legging and yeah. hitting my Dougie. You feel what I'm saying behind a DJ booth. You feel yeah. me? Like hold on, hold on. You know what? Before the now, <laughs> let, before we get there. All right, I didn't let the people know DJ Crazy. He is a producer, a writer, DJ, and dancer. He's a dancing DJ. Which when he told me this before we started the podcast. It gotta be the first of its kind. I never um, seen an actual dancing DJ in the club. Like he, he's an entertainer. You know, he dance while he DJing. Like that's 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 some thorough shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love the whole DJ. So you know how we go to events and we be the DJ be killing it. You know what I'm saying? And just imagine if we seen a DJ that's dancing like Chris Brown or some shit like that. You know what I mean? That that'll make shit. Even more entertaining, you know what I mean? So, this is definitely your first of its kind. So, with that being said, because I didn't in- introduce you as, you know, with all those different titles. Now, with your history of being on a dancing scene and all that. Now, how did you, you know, 
get the chance to run into AR Ab and the OBH and become their official DJ. That's the all right. So what happened was like all right. So right after the party scene in Philly, right? I call it the Ice Age. What happened? Right? Y'all gonna laugh? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like the reason how Jimmy the Sink, you know, switched on to the rappers, not the dancers no more. What happened to the party scene was um, if you ever Google it, it was called the uh like the flash mob. That's what killed my. That's what killed my culture. That like, like that's what killed us throwing the thirteen ten parties, the Blue Horizons, nine two three, the Hideaway. That's what killed us from being able to go in the gallery and walk down Walnut Street, Chestnut Street. We did start an income source and we did start a way to express and get known because we was the first YouTube hits out of Philly. Dollar mm. Boys, Team Nike. Like people don't realize those statistics. Like the Wu Tang, we was the first YouTube hits out of Philly when YouTube was created. That's a big deal. So right when that happened, the flash mob was created. Now that was just a misunderstanding. That's what happened. Right when the whole culture of social media started coming out, MySpace was my, like it was the end of MySpace. Facebook was created. Yeah. Mm. So that's when we was becoming local celebrities. That buzz was transforming. So it was like, damn, how you come gonna be the shit from MySpace to this? Jams to now you and I two three. We had a lot of buzz. Like I had five thousand friends my first day. Now you can't add nobody. So I dropped a status. Damn. I dropped the status promoting downtown. We was battling these Chinese boys. You can pull it up to this day. Right? On YouTube. You can pull up, matter of fact, you can even pull up, like, the day we created South Street. Like, the whole walk on South Street, you can even pull up that. Like, the day that was created, the reason why people got there, why it's nice now, you can see that day when it was created, you can see the news comment on it, calling, calling this bunch of niggers and shit, and it's still on YouTube. You can see the shit. Mm. But this battle that we promote, all right, that hey. first battle happened, it was crazy. 500 kids in the gallery okay. without nothing happening. Second battle Eight. happened. Facebook was created. I got like 1,200 likes, six, 1,600 shares. This was before shares and likes like that was even look, like, wow. looked at like that. Okay. 800 fucking kids showed up downtown, bro. Groups. Now, this was when the city was group. I'm trying to tell you, people will not lie to you. If you wasn't in a group, you wasn't outside. In my generation, if you wasn't in the group, you was not Meek Mill. Because Meek Mill was the only thing that was literally living. Now, literally. now for, the, for the people listening, <laughs> I, he said group, not gang. Group. group Real gang. talk. Like, you know, because you know, when we black, three or Wait, more is considered a motherfucking a gang. gang. No, no, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. My no. man said group. No, group. Like, listen, like, for, for like, instance, Beauty Kills. Bunch of hot, prissy, beautiful ghetto girls. So cute, so pretty. And they just look. It was before the Nikki's and all that. Was like, This was before that was Coop no, Beauty Kills with them girls. Or Pocket Dollies. Or uh, the dudes that we used to look up to. Like the OGs that we used to look up to. Like BFA. Uh, like the older Fire Nation from down like Cumberland and stuff. Um, it was just so much. It was so much back then that we can look up to. And there were so many thorough OGs. That... That's what happened, but not to get off the story. So, no, when no, the flash no, no. Mob, you can get off. You can get off because we always talk about. Okay, that. yeah. So this, we always that, talk about that. That was to me, my generation. That's what happened. Like the OGs disappeared. They, they like they stopped caring back then. Like, oh, like like, like, like an OG would grab me up. Like, mm. yo, you the dancing young boy. Keep fucking dancing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he might say something about my yeah. jeans, but he even if he saw somebody about to try to. Attacked the drug game He stopped it And I'm mm-hmm. from the hardest part of the city That's right. the most deserted part of the city now what, Nice Town what, what what part is that? Nice Town Nice, oh. nice Town Nice yeah. Town is a ghost town now yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But back then How you think DJ Crazy was created? Bro, I was born there Like, like I'm from Baltimore But my identity was born in Nice Town And I'm fine You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I had some thorough old heads behind me I had there were people in my ear. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and they actually saw something and they, and they commented on it and they kept pushing it. They yeah. didn't infect it. They didn't put nothing in my hand. They slapped it. Yeah. Or they beat me the fuck up. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? As they should. Or they go, or we pay for the Night Sound Titans and like that. Something happened that bad. And they, I remember that I used to put on the helmet and show the bed and maybe run into them. You feel what I'm saying? It was that type of discipline back then. And we ain't talking about like the 90s, bro. We talking about early. I'm 23. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. No, you yeah. talking about like, them mid 2000s yeah, yeah, and my man said, where the OGs at? Right. Where y'all at? Yep. 
That you know, OGs is inspired now. They inspired yo. now. Crazy. They in competition with y'all instead of helping right, y'all. Exactly. You know, because cause you know what, like Lady T said, we we actually talked about we talk about that a, a lot yeah. on on the podcast, like the OGs, because you talking about your experience with your upbringing, your you know what I'm saying, coming up in Philly. I had the same thing. I was. Good in sports, football. That was my shit. Like you couldn't tell me I wasn't going NFL. Like in the OGs, they're like, "Yo, listen, you know what I'm saying like you you gonna be something. Yo, get off the corner. Yeah. I know you homies with him. He's a knucklehead. Yeah, he don't give a fuck. You right. get off the corner. You know what I'm saying? And they and they would tell your mom or your pop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? They'd be like, "Yo, I seen I seen Mill on the corner with with those knuckleheads." He he bought something. Like, nah, let keep him on keep him at practice. School and football practice. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, that stuff is gone. Mm-hmm. Yo, so that damn, that's a that's good shit you talking. Lesson taught here. Yeah. Lesson taught here. That's a lesson. But well, yeah, and, so- and it's good to hear that from twenty three. He's twenty three, you know what I'm saying? So that's good. Damn. Running no, 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 no. on time. No, no, no. Okay, we, okay. He All got right. a he got a gig coming up, you know. Yeah. So we gotta make good. sure he on time. Yeah, yeah. You know? but yeah. Uh, so right after that, it was a big thing that happened. It was just a bunch of kids downtown for no reason. You feel what I'm saying? It was a bunch. You know, like the battle did happen, but a little altercation happened. Cause back then we did have our troublemaker group. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying yeah. like it was a group. Um, I ain't gonna name any name, but it was this other group, you know. And like the battle happened, so we leave and we walking past, you know, the Macy. That's when you heard about the Macy shit back then. If you heard about the Macy flash mob, that was that. And basically, I took the blame for. It. I was a kid that came out in court because it was a lot of judges that came out of retirement for this shit. They made that shit a big deal. Judges that used to, what's his name, Judge Reynolds, that used to make niggas count birds on the tree back then. That's what the old heads used to tell me about him. He came out of retirement. Two judges came out of retirement for this flash mob. Case, the first flash mob. <laughs> And I took the blame Cal for it. Burns on Yeah, up. yeah. Judge Reynolds, like, they'll tell you, like, any old head no feeling. black or white? He black. Judge Reynolds is black. He's a judge, he's a judge, motherfucking judge Doherty was white. So, they, listen, I saw, that's when the whole gun mills and St. Gabe's and shit break went up because there was so many kids down there. I saw kids getting 9 and 12 months just for stuttering and lying. Like, wasn't down there for no nine reason. Nine to twelve months. Nine yes. to twelve months. Yes, bro. Is that and the judge that, that he got sent up? Yes, bro. That's I'm, the judge that got sent up for sending kids for no. Yeah, reason. it was. It was a few That's judges him. here yeah, in Philly yeah, exactly, that got exactly. caught, up, caught up in and that. He got they the was. Time they was. They, they was giving. Um, shit. I know. They was giving the uh, the black kids higher sentences. Like I don't even know which judge. I don't but, know the names. But it probably had something to do with that, it though. Did, it I, did. I wouldn't be surprised. You feel what I'm saying? It like, it's two judges that came out of retirement, literally, for this case. It was big as hell on TV. So many kids just getting grabbed up. Like, it was just like, you even saw just regular people grabbing kids. Right? I was, it was a blur. I was one of the kids that got grabbed, but, and lives got fucked up that day. That's when the Ice Age, I call it the Ice Age, because yeah, yeah. back then, my generation for years, bro, what keep, kept us out of the trouble was our events, our parties, the whole party scene, the whole. Right. We was booking these venues and halls, throwing these yeah, parties at yeah. 13, 14, 15 years old. Yeah. Going to go pay 9, 2, 3 a deposit. Or we 14 years old negotiating out deals with halls to do door split. What the fuck? Like, we was doing that wow. at 14, 15 years old. So it was like, after that, it was it was just like a rat. So when that's like, like, I took the blame for it. We all did time. I did like a month. Came home, my house the rest. It kind of fucked up. It fucked up a lot. You know what I'm saying? So... That was towards the end. That's when I moved to Jersey. So I moved to Jersey when I was like 16. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And Jersey saved my life. I did my first two years at Simon Grass. What what part of Jersey did you move to? South. Oh, South uh, Jersey? Yeah, Franklinville. Franklinville? Yeah, so. Not uh, Camden, though. Nah, 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 nah. Because <laughs> you, know, nah. you know, Camden is a uh, extension of Philly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah. I did my uh, first two years at Simon Grass High School. Did my last two years over there. So I graduated and I stayed over there ever since. So I've been in Jersey since I was like 16, 17. Okay. So when I got to Jersey, since the Ice Age happened in Philly, I just restarted it in Jersey. I just started Team Nike. So I, I had a market because they was already looking at us as YouTube hits in Philly. So I'm like, I can bring that. I, I, I can bring up one dude at a time. Y'all look at him as a local celebrity. So I was just profiting. So Jersey Team Nike. So I just started the member system up there, getting new members. Bringing the old members and everybody was starstruck over the old members because we was already vibing as fuck. Yeah. So that would kept my wave alive. So 
then when my class was graduating, I graduated 2012. The ice age is happening in Jersey now, because now it's happening like the good way, because now everybody getting too old for it, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. So 